So this is the Dammer Diker. I hooked it up, got it all already and got out here. So what it is, it's got these big shanks on it. They have wings on the bottom and then they have these big wings up here on the top. Now I go through after we planted the potatoes has these paddles on the back. Essentially what this does is it goes right where the spuds were planted and it takes the rows and it opens them up again and those wings reform the hill, the wings on top. The wings on the bottom, these ones down here, they go underneath where the seed piece is and help loosen up the soil so it can grow better roots. And then the wings on top reform the hill. You can see how the hills are kind of down over here. They're a little narrower and skinny. And then after I go through it, adds more soil to the top, makes them more blocky a little bit better for growing. You don't get the spuds starting to poke through the ground if they get too big. And then these paddles, paddle wheels here, they go through and make all these little divots. It's kind of hard to see, but you see there's the big divot right there. And that gives it a place so when we water it, that's where the water will sit and pond and, and uh, it can soak into the row. Especially, it's especially good on where you have hills because the water won't just run down the rows. So I go through behind them and I dam or dike all of the, all of the spuds after they've been planted. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm inside the tractor now. What's nice is I have this GPS here. It tells me exactly where I need to go to be right on line. So I know that I need to turn, and then if I click this button right here, now it will drive for me. See, I don't even have to touch the steering wheel, and those tires will turn to get me right on that line. Because this has to be right perfectly in line with the rows that they already planted. So, having the GPS is uh, essential. You can do it by hand. I mean, that's what they used to do, but it's way better this way. Now I'm in line, drop this down. Get going. Sometimes, because the two tractors planting aren't right in line, I have to shift the track here. Because even though the two tractors who planted have the same coordinates in, the GPS is only accurate to a couple inches, so they're not right on, but they're close. So now I'm going. You can see the paddles making the little dikes in the, in the row for the water to sit. And the shanks are way down there. You can't really see them. You can kind of see the dirt being blown out by the shank. It blows the dirt up on top of the row, and you can kind of see that one. There's this drag bar that then drags the dirt off to make a nice flat top row. So that's what we're looking for. So I've got a lot of field to do. I mean, I just barely started. So I've got 1,200 acres to do. I'll be at this for about three weeks. Looks like there's a storm coming. This is a brand new Dammer Diker from Sputnik. We had it last year and this year. The reason we had to get a new one, I will put up next, but basically I got rear-ended by a car and it destroyed the old one, bent everything. So that's why we got this new one. We'll just have to get the loader to get that off.
Well, we have this shaft. It's a two inch shaft and it just snapped on the dammer diker, broke the shaft. So we're in the process of changing this out. Got to get a new shaft for it. They don't have one. New shaft, we'll put new bearings on it while we're replacing it. And yeah, hopefully get this dammer diker going again. Well, we got it all apart. Had these three paddle wheels. They're attached using a hub. So we had to, we had to take these bolts out and then pound this paddle wheel off that hub and then get the hub off. And then we unbolted the bearings and dropped the shaft off. And the shaft just snapped because it had so much pressure because we had a hydraulic pressure relief that went bad. So he's trying to get the bearings off, but snapped a two inch shaft. Doesn't happen very often, but we gotta wait for a shaft. We don't have one to put it back together. Well, we got it back together. Sorry I didn't film it. I was doing it by myself, so it was a little difficult. Basically, I had to put this paddle wheel on and then slide the bearings on. And I lifted one side up and put the bolts in and then lifted the other side up, put the bolts in. And then we had to slide the other two paddle wheels on, get them lined up with the shank that's in front of it, tighten everything down. And now we're back going again. The pressure relief valve that was bad that caused it to have too much pressure to snap is that little guy right there this one it was broken and it just allowed too much pressure and it broke it so now we're back in the field and we're going again now that it is fixed we can go quite a bit faster because it's not it's not digging into the ground quite so hard now let's see what it looks like from the sky